Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MS Safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to disable on-premises Active Directory Sync to Microsoft Entra ID. We use Microsoft Entra Connect Sync to synchronize on-premises Active Directory objects with Microsoft Entra ID. There are instances when disabling synchronization is necessary such as when removing accounts, migrating fully to the cloud or performing troubleshooting. When a company wants to move entirely to the cloud, we disable synchronization in both the on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. Before reaching this stage, there are few tasks you should have completed. Stop creating users and groups in on-premises Active Directory and syncing them to Microsoft Entra ID. Create them directly in Microsoft Entra ID. Clean up unnecessary objects that are currently being synced like groups, admin accounts for on-premises only. Documenting sync groups and users for record purposes. You can do this by exporting data from the Microsoft Entra Admin Center by using the on-premises sync enabled filter. Convert a test user to cloud by removing them from sync scope and restoring the object in Microsoft Entra ID. Make sure that the test user can go about their daily functions. In the last video, we learned the steps to convert Microsoft Entra synced on-premises user to cloud only. Link to that video is given in the description. Once everything is working as planned, you can begin the process of disabling the on-premises AD sync with Microsoft Entra ID. Disabling directory sync must be completed in two locations on the Microsoft Entra Connect Sync server and within Microsoft Entra ID. Directory Sync can be disabled on the Microsoft Entra Connect server with a single PowerShell command. Log into the Windows server where Microsoft Entra Connect is installed and configured. Right-click the Start menu and select Terminal. First, let's review the current status of the on-premises directory synchronization. Tap this command and hit enter to execute it. If the value true appears, it indicates that on-premises directory synchronization is currently enabled. We can use the sat-ad sync scheduler cmdelete to stop the synchronization process. Let's copy this command. Tap this command and hit enter key. The command has been successfully completed. Let's again review the current status of the on-premises directory synchronization. Tap this command and hit enter key. This time, the value false should be displayed. This indicates that directory synchronization in the on-premises active directory has been successfully disabled. Now let's proceed to disable directory synchronization in Microsoft Entra ID. PowerShell can be used to disable directory synchronization and convert synchronized users to cloud-only accounts. However, disabling directory synchronization is not recommended as a troubleshooting step. First, we need to install the Microsoft Graph PowerShell module on this machine. Let's clear the screen. Type this command and hit Enter key. If prompted to install the NuGet provider, type Y and press the Enter key to install it. Installation will take few seconds. Sit back and wait for the installation process to complete. Always install the Microsoft Graph PowerShell and Microsoft Graph Beta PowerShell modules. Tap this command and hit Enter key. This is because some commands are not yet available in the final version and will not work. Update both modules to the latest version before running any commands or scripts to avoid errors and incorrect results. Wait for the installation process to complete. Now let's connect to our Microsoft Entra ID tenant using Microsoft Graph PowerShell with the correct permissions. Tap this command and hit Enter key. Enter global admin credentials to connect to our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Select the existing user account. This is the account for global admin user. Enter the global admin account password and click on sign in. You may be asked to verify your identity through multi-factor authentication if it is configured for your Microsoft Entra account. Click on accept and wait for a moment. We are now successfully connected to our Microsoft Entra ID tenant using Microsoft Graph. We can now execute commands and perform management tasks within the Microsoft Entra ID with the help of Microsoft Graph. First, let's check the on-premises synchronization status in the Microsoft Entra tenant. 
run this command to get the on-premises synchronization status in Microsoft Entra tenant. The value will appear as true, indicating that on-premises directory synchronization is currently enabled. Run the update-mg organization command to disable directory synchronization and convert on-premises synchronized users to cloud-only accounts. But first, we need to find a Microsoft Entra tenant ID. Run this command to store the tenant ID in a variable named myOrgID. We cannot use the on-premises sync enabled switch with a false value to disable directory synchronization. We need to store the false value for on-premises sync enabled attribute in another variable. Run this command to create a variable named var1 to store the false value for the on-premises sync enabled attribute. We are now ready to use the update-mg organization cmdelete to stop the directory synchronization. Tap this command and hit enter key to disable the directory synchronization in Microsoft Entra ID. Let's check if on-premises directory synchronization is disabled in Microsoft Entra ID. Run this command to get the on-premises synchronization status in Microsoft Entra tenant. The value will appear as null or empty, indicating that on-premises directory synchronization is currently disabled. Let's verify this in the Microsoft Entra admin center as well. Earlier, Microsoft Entra Connect Sync was enabled. Refresh the web page to see the updated information. As we can see, now it displays that Microsoft Entra Connect Sync is not enabled and Sync has never run. This confirms that we have successfully disabled on-premises Active Directory synchronization with Microsoft Entra ID. Expand Users and click on All Users. Earlier, the on-premises sync enabled status appeared as yes in the Microsoft Entra Admin Center before we turned off directory synchronization. Click on Refresh and again check the on-premises sync enabled status. Now the on-premises sync enabled status appears as no after we turned off directory synchronization. So all on-premises user accounts have been converted into cloud-only accounts. As for Microsoft documentation, if you use this command, you must wait 72 hours before you can turn directory synchronization back on. The time required depends on the number of objects you have in your tenant. You cannot cancel the disable action once it has been initiated. The process needs to be completed before you can take any other actions, including re-enabling on-premises directory synchronization. If you choose to re-enable on-premises directory synchronization, a full synchronization of your sync objects will take place. This may take a considerable amount of time depending on the number of objects you have in your Active Directory. Now you can safely uninstall the Microsoft Entra Connect tool. In this video, we will learn how to disable directory synchronization in both on-premises Active Directory and Microsoft Entra ID. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.